Hello and welcome to my volcano project. So I'm only making this for you so that way you can grade, like, give me a little grading on it. As you can see, I start off with this stuff just to help me if I need to, and I will make it big like that. Oh wait, no. Time set. Right there. So here we have the beginning. This is lava. Beware. Lava is mad when it reaches the surface. So this is the lava. We'll go to this one. What is on surface lava, you might ask? Jump under. Whee! So this is magma. It is not reached the surface. So this stuff would be considered magma. So now we go up through the water all the way back up. <sighs> all the way back up to the surface. Oh wait, well, I'll, I'll fix that, I'll fix that. We can do this for ages. Oh, go down this way. Which way? The mine part or the water? I'll choose the water. Wee! Wee! Here we, here we go inside the volcano. Look out for lava. Oh! This... Did I say lava? Okay, this sign will be changed to look out for magma. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Magma has poured onto, magma has poured onto the road. Quickly, this way. Whoa, oh, good. There, a wall help us out right over there. Good thing. Now I don't think we can back up. Wow, look, it's a volcano. The real volcano in there. Oh, please ignore me. Please, equals please. So just ignore that. That will play a big role. We whoa, we huh? That oh that we just saw was the pipe. Yes, it connects the lava to magma chamber. What's the magma chamber? Oh, and these are parts of the pipe. Oh, so he, this is the magma chamber. It contains all the magma that the volcano was shooting out through the top. Can we go under here? A random room. Here we go through here. Here's a sample volcano. Here we have the magma chamber down there. We have the pipe right over here. That's the pipe. That's his pipe. I'll have to fix that. And then kaboom at the top. Get me down here. This here would be. Wait. So this here would be sill. It is younger rocks squeezed with other rocks. As you can see, this rock is different from this rock. I, you can mine it through too. too. As you can see, this rock clearly looks different from that rock. Now let's go all the way up. Go all the way up. I will explain the reason why I chose to do volcanoes. Volcanoes actually seem pretty interesting to me. How they're able to shoot with magma out of it in there. So now as we get to the top, I can do some other stuff. As you can see, there's a big wall. So this here would be a volcanic net. As you can see, notice the difference in rocks. Notice the difference? It, a volcanic neck is like a mountain of hardened magma. As you can see, this is obviously taller than me. Or that tree over there, you can see. Look, this, this looks bigger, you can see. It's bigger than that tree. Therefore, it, it, it looks like a mountain, right? Oh, so here we have an example of um, magma hardening. So as you can see, by clicking the lever, you can see that you you can you can see same one. You can see kind of rock. And and if I go up right here, look, the same kind. 
Now I know, Mr. Alberts, that there would be like different kinds of rocks to make volcanic mix and soils and stuff, but there's only a certain amount. So yeah, and that's my project. Sorry for that little pop-up. Yeah, that's pretty much my whole project. Or at least what I worked on right now. So could you please break it? And yes. Thank you very much. And that's all I'll be working on. And that's my project, big project. I, I don't know what kind of project it is. So, well.